After you decide to replace your watch crown, you may need a new stem to match the diameter or width, or over time your watch stem may wear out or break. Don't let your old broken watch stem keep you from wearing your watch. You can replace your watch stem yourself with this guide from Esslinger.com. Be aware, replacing a watch crown involves a lot of precision, since the new crown and stem must fit the watch case perfectly. If at any point you are concerned that this repair is more than you're comfortable dealing with, please take your watch to a professional. To replace your watch stem, you will need a pin vise, an end cutter, a fine jeweler's metal file, a digital gauge, a parts tray, a watch stem, a watch crown, an optional flathead watchmaker screwdriver, and a fine tips marking pen. The first thing you will need to do to replace your watch stem is remove it if it hasn't broken or fallen off already. For help learning how to remove your watch stem from the movement, check out either of these links. Once you have removed the old stem from the watch movement, in order to detach the crown, position the stem in the pin vise with the crown end facing up and out of the vise. Carefully slide the closing ring up the pin vise to close the jaws around the stem and grip it securely. Make sure that the stem is positioned with roughly half of the threaded portion inside the vise and half outside, like this. Check to make sure that the pin vise is completely closed and locked around the stem to prevent it from slipping or getting scratched while you unscrew the crown. After you have broken the seal and simply unscrew the watch crown from the stem, set the watch stem aside in your parts tray. In order to get the correct replacement stem, you'll need to identify your quartz movement number and use that to order the right size stem. Use this guide to help you find your movement number. With your stem in hand, you are ready to begin. Start by placing your stem in a pin vise. Open the pin vise's jaws wide and then insert the stem with the threaded side facing out. Tighten the jaws of the pin vise around the watch stem, closing so that half of the threaded end of the stem is sticking out of the vise. Then, you will need to check that your stem fits your watch crown. Take your watch crown and thread it onto the end of the stem. You should be able to easily turn it into place if it is the right size. If the crown doesn't fit the stem, use this guide to learn how to measure a watch crown to order the right size replacement crown. After you have a stem that fits your watch crown, you may need to adjust the length of the stem. To do this, remove the stem and crown from the pin vise by loosening the jaws until they open. Take your watch case and make sure that the watch movement and movement ring are lined up in the case so that the holes for the watch stem are aligned together. Then, insert your stem and crown into the watch movement pushing them as far into place as possible, and check the fit. If the watch stem is the right size, the stem will push all the way into the movement and latch, while the crown lays flush against the watch case. You can check that the stem fits by turning the watch case over and testing the hands to see if they move as you turn the watch crown. Check out this guide on replacing a watch crown to learn how to permanently attach the crown and finish this repair. If the watch stem is too short, it will look exactly like it does when the crown and stem fit except that when you try turning the crown, the watch hands will not respond to it. If your stem is too short, you can check out this guide to learn how to insert a stem extender. Finally, if the watch stem is too long, you will see that the watch crown does not sit flush against the watch case. You will need to follow these steps to learn how to trim your watch stem down to size. First, you will need to note how far away the crown is from being flush against the watch case. This distance will be needed to trim the watch stem down to size. Take your digital micrometer and measure the distance from the watch crown to the watch case like this. Record this measurement and remove the watch and crown from the stem. Now you will take that length you just measured and use it to mark off how much you need to cut from the stem. Position one end of the digital gauge's jaws at the top of the threaded end of the watch stem. Then mark where the second jaw stops on the watch stem to tell you approximately how much stem you need to remove. Take your end cutters and position them above the mark you just made. Remember, you can't make a stem longer again, so do not cut directly on the new mark. Instead, leave a little space above the mark like this. When you are confident that you still have room for error on your stem, squeeze the jaws at the end of the cutter closed and cut off the end of the watch stem. Set the cutters aside and holding your pin vise and stem, use your metal jeweler's file to file around the edge of the cut end of the stem to maintain an even edge that will thread onto the watch crown. Hold the file against the edge of the stem and then angle it about 45 degrees 
so you can bevel the edge and remove any excess metal from cutting the tip off. The goal here is to allow the threads to gain traction in the watch crown, not to take off more length. Once you have filed all the way around the edge of the stem, take your watch crown and thread it back onto the stem. If you cannot screw the crown back into place, file the end of the stem a little more, and then try again. When you can't turn the watch crown anymore, and it is securely on the watch stem, remove the watch crown and stem from the pin vise and fit them into the watch case again. Check the fit of the watch crown and the stem. If your cut was precise, the crown and stem will sit flush against the watch case, and when you test to see if the hands and crown will turn together, they will. Most likely, however, the stem will still be a little bit long for your watch. Remove your watch stem from the case and replace it in your pin vise. Then, remove the watch crown and set it aside in the parts tray. Use your jeweler's file to incrementally shorten the stem and make it easier for you to thread the crown into place. Once you have filed all the edges of the stem, re-thread the crown back onto the stem. If the crown won't thread on, file the end of the stem a little more and then try again. When the crown is completely screwed into place, remove the stem from the pin vise and try it out again in the watch case to check the fit. Repeat this process, cutting a little from the stem, filing the end, and then replacing the crown to check the fit until the stem and crown fit the watch case perfectly. When you are sure that the watch stem and crown are the right fit for your watch case in movement, you will remove them one last time to permanently attach and seal the crown to the stem. Check out this guide on replacing a watch crown to learn how to permanently attach the crown and finish this repair. Now that the crown and stem are sealed together, you will take your stem and insert it gently but firmly back into the movement and watch case for the last time. With the watch crown and stem now securely attached to the watch case, you are done. All you need to do is close the watch case. For help with that or any other handy watch repairs, check out Esslinger.com's YouTube channel today.